hi guys welcome to global nurses youtube channel so today we want to look at how we can solve our numeracy cbt questions on the pearson view site so i'm going to give you a sample questions from their site and then also solve them with you let me add that if it's your first time you are welcome to global nurses if you have not subscribed yet i will encourage you to please do so because you will not regret that you ever did all right so today we are going to look at how you you can solve your piercing view numeracy part a with the nmc cbt so i've already copied the link so i'll just paste in my browser and then it will take me to the site but if you're having the site or if you're having the link already just click on the link and then it will take you directly to their site as well all right so let's begin now all right so this is the first page you see when the site opens so be careful to read all the instructions because it's going to be a guide as well it teaches you how to write the unit and all that so from here you just go on and select the field you registered for so if you registered for midway free please select that one um, if you re registered for mental health, adult nurse, just select the one that you registered for, please. Don't go solving all the numeracy because you think they will appear in yours. No. Whichever field you registered for, just select only that one and just focus on it. And make sure you master it. Alright, so let's go on and then select. For the purposes of this video, I'm going to use adult nurse part A, numeracy part 1. Alright, so when it opens... You also get another set of instructions telling you about the type of questions, the style, the layout, how to write your numbers and units and all that. So kindly take time. When you press the next button, it brings you to the first question. So you read the question and then you know what is expected of you to do. So this question is asking us to provide the number of volume that has been drawn and also write it to one decimal place. So we we'll go ahead and then measure what has been drawn and then provide it in the box below okay so from here i can see that it's 6.5 right so let's go ahead and enter it into the box so once entering be checking the way i write the unit you realize that i make the l capital that's very important if you want to pass your numeracy kindly take that into consideration here also talks about the volume that has been dispensed so just check from the darker side of the container you see there's one that is darker than the other so just check from there and then use it to answer so i got 20 and then you add your meals to it the next question wants us to provide a volume in meal so you have been given two liters of sodium chloride provide it in your meal so we all know that you get two thousand you multiply two by thousand Next question also wants us to convert our 0.6 ibuprofen to milligram. So here you realize that the ibuprofen is gram, but it wants us to provide our answer in milligram. So just get your grab your calculator up there and then you just use it to calculate. So you just multiply 0.6 by 1000. And then you get your final answer then you provide it in the box so our next question is also asking us to um provide our tablets they want to know the number of tablets to be administered if the prescribed dose is 300 milligram so now you just go ahead and divide your 300 by the 100 and then you get three tablets So with the next question, I want you to have a very careful look at the, the unit. So you realize that the prescribed unit comes in gram, but the available dose is in milligram per mil. So we have to do that conversion first. So now you convert one gram. So to convert one gram, you just go ahead and then multiply by thousand. So you multiply one by thousand. And then from there, you go ahead and then divide by your available dose per mil.
Let me also chip in that. Kindly get used to the calculator on the screen. Okay, I know that some of you want, would want to use the pen or pencil and notepad to solve it. But to save you time, just use the calculator. So if you are not used to the calculator on the screen, kindly do so. It will help you a lot for you to save time. Our next question is asking us to provide the volume that should be administered when given a prescribed dosage of 100 mg of phenytoin. So you are supposed to also provide an answer in the correct unit. So you just go ahead and then divide the prescribed dosage over your available dose, just like we've been doing previously. Okay, so with this one, it's asking us also to provide a volume that should be administered. And you can see that the, the prescribed medication is 10 milligram and it comes in kg. So the patient also weighs 70 kilograms. So right now, what we will do is to multiply our 10 milligram by the patient's weight. So after you get your answer there, and then you just go ahead and then divide it by the available dose in milk. So you will find me trying to do that. So let's watch. Our next question, I'm going to skip it because I want you to also try and solve some on your own. So we have previously solved such a question before, but then it was a kind of um, solution form. So this time it's, it's also, even though it's, an, it's a solution, but it's an injection. So just use the same formula. The previous one was a uh, suspension. But this is an injection so just use the same formula and then try to solve this on your own if you have any challenges kindly use the comment section let me know how you went about it or what challenges you were facing this next question is also the same thing i want you to try your hands on it so that i don't get to be doing all for you so try and then get it right with this question we have been asked to calculate the rate of infusion that we are going to set it we are asked to calculate the rate that we will set the infusion pump and it should be mil per hour so we will just divide our volume in mil per our duration so you will get 400 divided by 5 and then you get your answer as 80. We have another similar question here, but here they are asking you to provide your answer to the nearest whole number. So when you do your calculation, please check the figure you got and make sure if you are supposed to run it, please do so that you get your nearest whole number. It's very important to read the instructions attached. Okay, so let's go on and solve it and see. We are going to divide the volume in mil, which is the thousand by six. So our answer will be 166.6666 and the instruction 
is also telling us to run our answer to the nearest whole number. So the one six six point six six is that we got. We are going to run it, so we will get one six seven because the point after the last six was above five. So if you want to run, always make sure that the point starts from five and above, and then you run it to the nearest whole number. After taking you through an example previously. I want you to again try your hands on this one for me to know how you did okay so this is our last question so this is the out intake and output balance so um i don't want to waste much time you will go on piercing view and then just try it on your own there so you just add everything you see at the at the input column which is the urine and i think iv fluids you add everything every figures you see there just add them up and then enter them into the box provided for the input column and then do this the same thing for the output i think the output is also the urine and i think vomit so add every figure you, you see there as well and then enter it into the output column along with the unit which is the mail okay so we are done which of the questions did we have incorrect we didn't have any question incorrect you are seeing incorrect because i've given you an assignment remember uh-huh i've told you to go back and then try to solve them on your own to see how far you are with your numeracy so that is the incorrect you are seeing so if i if assuming i had solved all you were going to get all answers correct so this you are seeing now i pressed on one of the incorrect questions and then it came so if you could remember from the beginning we skipped some questions so this was part of those questions so that's how come you are seeing them as incorrect other than that we did well if you have found the video helpful so far don't forget to give us a thumbs up and then also subscribe